Good afternoon, everybody. This is Kara Canavo with Destined to Succeed with KC and 1UP Marketing. In today's uh, quick little video, I wanted to share with you guys the power of Google Plus posts and how when you make a post um, today, you could reach people even just from a year from now. So example, let's go and I will show you something that really was really cool today. Here's my notifications list. Now these are all recent. Um, as you can see, I have people adding me to their circles, people liking my stuff. Woohoo! The Red Sox added me back. That's so cool. I love the Red Sox. Go, go, go. <laughs> but this is not what that training is about. <clears throat> I want to show you guys the um, unread the already read notifications and if I go here which I had already looked at now this was a post I made on October 22nd so that was seven days ago that was seven days ago okay and um, I can go here if you can notice this is just right from my Google home page so I can click on my the post itself and I can actually see who has liked it. Now it's in my notifications showed me more than two people liked it but for today you know that's who liked it but if I wanted to see my activity I would click this little asterisk in the right hand corner and I would click on view post activity and it's going to tell me who liked it okay and that's great um, so a lot of people you know again these are people that liked it for some reason it's showing me that some, somebody liked it today but I don't, I, you know, this was a post that I made just last week. And let's give uh, Google some time to catch up here. So I want to show you guys the power of this. Now, on like Facebook, your posts are going to be, you just don't know who's going to be seeing your posts even a year from now. So here's an example. If I go click on networking, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just type in networking in the Google Plus search. Now, this is different. Well, actually, I can click on, the, I'm going to do hashtag networking, okay? That's very important because it's going to show me the things that I want to look for. So I'm going to do hashtag. Now, what's great about this, you guys, the Google Plus search is different than Google search, okay? So when you're searching within the Google Plus platform, you're going to find stuff that is posted in the Google Plus platform itself. And I'm going to show you guys some really cool tricks. <clears throat> Here you go, networking. It's going to show me everything, right? <clears throat> Later on, I'll go over people, pages, and communities. But right now, I'm at the best of. I can click on this the asterisk, and I can go to most recent. But default, by default, it's best of. And all I'm going to do is go through some of these posts, right? Because networking is my niche, and this is how I'm going to find people and pages that are in my niche. So I'm just going through here, and I'm looking at stuff that was shared with the hashtag networking. Now, I can go here and I can say, okay, Chris, are you in my circles? Nope. I'm just going to add him to my circles right here. I'm going to follow. When he adds me back, I'll click him as a friend. As you can see, the number of people I'm following is at 2,027, and the number of friends I have are at 1,505. <coughs> okay, so I'm just going to keep going through here, and I'm going to be looking at the times and the dates. This was done at yesterday at 8.09. Now, this is unlike Facebook's. Facebook's going to show you every now and then a post that was made yesterday, but Facebook is not going to show you posts that were made like months ago. So as we're going through... <coughs> We're looking in. We have the hashtags. Remember, hashtags are really cool. So this had a hashtag of networking and LinkedIn, right? She didn't even make a hashtag. Google made it up for her. So whatever your post is relevant to, this person did make a hashtag. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm going through here, and this is all stuff that was shared this morning. But again, this is the best of. So it's really cool to be shown in the best of because, you know, these are people that are making... <clears throat> posts with the hashtag networking and again you know who you know strategic social networking I'm gonna add him well remember we're gonna add him as a follow <laughs> but that's really cool I haven't even really looked at his stuff but it's still this is how you get people in your circles but the power of the best of post let's keep going through <clears throat> now people will do this just like I'm doing we're browsing we're looking at the different posts. We're not going to take too long on this because I wanted to share with you something really cool. I'm going to keep going. 
down a little bit <coughs> and you're going to notice posts <coughs> excuse me that are being made now, sometimes this can change because when I did this earlier <coughs> it was a different story but that's okay that's how Google works Google's going to show you content that's relevant to you okay this is all stuff that was shared publicly but again there was something really neat here that I wanted to show you. And remember, this is the best of, okay? This is all stuff, this is all yesterday, but if I keep going, I'm going to be bound to find what I'm looking for. Okay, and these are all just posts. Okay, let's just keep going, guys. I just. I did one of these earlier, but unfortunately my computer didn't save it to my computer, so I have a whole training that got lost. <coughs> okay, that was October 27th, but again, I'm just going to keep scrolling, and I hope that this, this does what I want it to, because again, this is the best of. Okay, maybe it was the hashtag. Maybe if I just did this, you guys. Let's go back up here. I think the difference was today was that I didn't use the pound hashtag. All I did was put in networking itself. <coughs> the word. Most people are not going to put a hashtag in front of it. Okay, so here are some posts that have the word networking in it. Okay, and, you know, again, some of these, some, these still look like the same but this is yesterday okay October now we're talking Look at October 27th here's one I made in August okay this is just for me putting in the word networking I know I didn't expect to see my my face here but you know um, again this was a post I made in August you know so if somebody just puts in the word networking without the hashtag especially you're gonna find stuff you can put the hashtag in front of it and you're gonna get even more relevant content but let's just say you were doing a general search you put networking in you're going to see stuff that has to do with networking look at this <coughs> was a post I made in July and of course because it was in my community Google's gonna show me that right how cool is that Here's my community this was in June Here's one from Dennis in July. Dennis is a really cool guy. Here's one, you know, you, you can get one from Cisco, you know, that's in August. Here's one from April, you guys. I mean, April. We're going as far back as April. Here's one Bridget made on the 20th. Okay. Here's one that was made in 2012. Okay. I mean, some of this content might not be relevant to today, but it's still so cool to see these posts showing up a year later. Here's another post. Of course, my net, my community keeps showing up. Here's one from the t February 29th of 2012. I mean, I suggest if you've been on Google Plus a while that you go through and you start looking around to see what posts are there because this post may not be relevant to what she's doing today. Some network marketers, you know, things change. They might not be in the same things that they were, you know, a year ago or even six months from now. So... Um, but this is amazing. Look, we have one from HP Networking that was done in November 10th, 2011. Okay, here's one that's from Social Media Marketing on May 11th, 2012. Now, again, you can see if these people are in your circles, it'll be green. It'll say it is. It'll say they are. I know he's in my circles. Um, here's another guy. You know, he's in my circles. <coughs> you can tell these people that have been around for a while. There's this guy from March. He's in my circles. And the reason is, you guys, I always, <coughs> am, and obviously I network with these people. So <coughs> they're going to show me people that are in my circles prop most of the time. But I have found people that are not in my circles, like this guy. Not in my circles. Oh, no, he is. Must have changed his picture. Here, here's one. Nope, he's in my circles. She's in my schools. Okay. Well, clearly I've been a busy, busy bee on Google+. But you guys, I hope you get the point. I mean, this is when made in February 26th. So I'll just let you guys know. I got, so I, got so I got a few leads just the other day by a post I made, you know, a week ago. I got a few leads from a post I made a month ago, okay? And, of course, I'm going to just always check to see if these people are in my circles. Because if they're not, I'm going to add them. Okay? But it, what's really great is the content we're coming up with, right? We're seeing stuff that was made two years ago. 
<laughs> that's the difference between Google Plus and Facebook. Facebook's, you know, it's like a jungle out there, right? It's competition. You have to constantly be posting on Facebook to get your stuff seen, right? It's, you're not going to see stuff that was posted even just a year ago. People are going to go have to go stock your whole Facebook page down. Whereas on Google Plus, you just put the simple word networking in and it's going to show you content that was there from up to two years ago. I'm sure there's content there from up to three years ago. Now, if I wanted to look for people and pages that were in the networking niche, I will come over here, you guys, and I know I've done trainings on this before, but how cool is that, right? And these are all pages I can go and like, right? So I can follow social networking. I'm going to go right over to the page. I'm going to give it a like, okay? This is what I do. This is my niche, and I'm going to give it a plus one. This is different from a personal page. This is a business branded page, okay? Right? doesn't seem like there's a lot going on here but regardless as soon as they add me to their circles um, I will get to see their stuff so I hope you get the gist now the other thing is is um, networking communities this is where you find your niche this is so easy you can see I'm a member here my community has 503 members and I started this back in June so we are you know we're moving up it's okay, we don't have to have a million people in my community. It's all a matter of who wants to be there. So you're going to see communities that are in your niche. If you are not tapping into these communities, you're really, truly, honestly, you're missing out. Okay? You are missing out. So I hope that this helped. I hope you get the understanding that what you post today can show up a year from now, especially on Google+, Plus, just by putting in a certain word. Any, any keyword you want, and Google Plus will show it to you. Um, again, Google Plus's um, default settings for when you go to search for everything is going to be the best of, okay? So when you want to change this, you can do most recent, okay? If you want to look for most recent, that's great. But by default, you're going to get the best of. So that is so cool. So I hope this helped. Again, this is Kara Canavo. Um, if you found this to be helpful, I would love to please connect with me on Google+. Plus. I will be um, providing the link to my Google Plus profile in the training below. Um, and find me on Facebook as well. And until then, enjoy your day. This is Kara Canavo. Have a good one to your success.